This is 100 Years of Weird Toys. At VAT19, we know a thing or two about strange products, and today we're gonna take a look back at some of history's weirdest toys. Oh, I hope some kill you. Not actually, you, personally. Yeah, no, actually. <laughs> stay tuned! <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. This is the belt buckle toy gun. Actually shoots caps, flips out, so you can shoot. Flip it out! Oh! <laughs> I will say, it does just look like a decorative western belt. But then, behold! <laughs> behold! Wait for it! Oh! And I bet you didn't know it did this! Everybody oh! on the ground! Oh! Everybody on the ground! All right, let's find out what the kids think. Oh, a gun! Oh, oh, but it's to a duel anywhere. I like this. Goes on your belt, like that's cool. Every cowboy kid should have that. Every cowboy kid, every cowboy kid. Check this out. It's the Atomic Energy Lab. This had real uranium. Oh, oh no. Exciting, safe. Oh. oh my gosh, there it is. That's the Geiger counter. Oh, that thing's intense. It actually looks kind of fun. It did not sell well. Apparently they only sold 5,000 of these. Thank God. Today's kids, what do you think? Would they play with this toy? I think they're in. But then what if you told them like, oh, but this also could kill you. It says no. safe on the packaging, Eric. Oh, that's cool. Anything that can blow up. You like assemble it and then the little ball has like electricity that's running through it. What if I told you that radioactive elements are extremely dangerous? Would you want to play with it more? Of course. <laughs> I mean, it's the 1950s. No one knew what they were doing. Definitely play with that. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. Right. Oh, man. Barbie dominating the doll industry. This product. Oh, no. Well, Little Miss No Name was designed to be the antithesis to Barbie. Got this tear always on her eye, these big sad eyes. She's Little Miss No Name. She's lonesome and blue. Oh, God. I like the guilt angle. <laughs> I feel shamed into buying that toy. The branding on this, I feel like, could hold up today. Wednesday is, you know, a really big show right now. I think kids are gonna like this. It looks scary. Thank You're you. like Little Miss Scary. Do you think you would play with that? No. She's like staring into your soul. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on. You guys love Star Wars, right? Oh. Yes. Your favorite character was turned into candy. Oh! oh. Yeah, somebody recently got a hold of one of these that was 20 years old. Oh! oh. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> the kids of today, would they want to play with this toy? Jar Jar Binks. You lick his tongue? That's the definition of kissing someone. Thank you. Cool. No. Yeah. <laughs> it's time to time travel to the 1980s. Okay. This uh, is the Boglin. Uh, AKA Francis. Obviously the success of the movie Gremlins had a big part in its success. It's got like a little lever. You can do the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I got him. Give me a kiss. I, want, I know we've talked about this. I need tongue kiss. No. Just one tongue tip. No, I don't want a tongue tip. Jamie, tongue tip touch. Oh. oh. Boglin put a ring on it. Here is a Boglin's oh. commercial. Hey, hold up. 1-900. Kid would call into this number, have a conversation with the Boglins, and it costs $2.35 per minute. Yeah. Oh, that is steep. I think there's still that niche for like the weird gross out monster toy. What do you think, Jamie? Yeah, I think they would. <laughs> oh, no, oh, you can't, you can't say yes. We're never selling the Boglin. We're never selling the Boglin. Never selling the Boglin. Come on! I don't sell everything that people buy. We don't sell milk. <laughs> Let's find out what today's kids think. <laughs> Instant joy. Boglin. <laughs> Nothing's wrong with it. It's perfect. More data showing the love of Boglins. Can we move on? The Barbie potty training set comes with this dog poop pellets. Let me show you the commercial. First, Barbie gives Taffy a treat. Of course, oh, Taffy poops. Well. Barbie scoops. That's the worst part about having a dog. Oh. oh, well, there it went down the manhole. Kids will love this because they always love poop. See the Gotta Go Flamingo. I mean, it's that true. thing was so popular. And, th and that toy eats its own poop. I love this toy. Oh. It poops. Put the poop in. Push down its tail and its poop comes out. <laughs> this is the weird part. Put it in the pooper scooper thingy. Back in its dog bowl so it can eat its poop. 
fun. This one's the best toy ever. Oh, well. That was the best part of it, was yeah. making the dog eat its own poop. Let's move on. This is the Astro Ray Sparking Gun. Every once in a while, the sparks leap out of yeah, there. Yeah, they do. I just see the spark. I like that everybody's natural reactions. Let me get that spark in my hand. <laughs> this is timeless. What is this? There goes the hand. Yep. I think it could explode, but like, <laughs> whatever, it's fine. It's a cool toy though. I wish she was a little more concerned about things exploding. I'll be honest. <laughs> This is the drippy oh! nose kit. Oh, what happened? There's this like giant one nostril. So the toy originally came with sort of a slime. Squeeze it, suck up the snot, squeeze it again and have it yeah, drip out. There's a similar toy that we sell, the slimy snail that kind of does the same thing. Oh, a good one. And then Drippy comes along and she's jonesing. <laughs> oh. You know, kids love gross things. You would have snot that would go out its nose. Nope, I'm not playing with this. Guess I was wrong. <laughs> you wouldn't even play with it. This is the fart launcher. It injects fart spray, and then you pull this back. Aim it. Did you get any? I got it. No, I got it. <laughs> Let me just load oh, you guys up. Oh, no, stop. It doesn't smell like a fart at all. If that was full of liquid ass, something that yeah. we have at 19, yeah. we would exit the room. Yeah. What do you think the kids are going to say? They'll love it. This is such a bad idea. <laughs> Very cool. I just wish it did act like really bad fart spray. It was a little stinky, but not much. If it was really bad, you probably wouldn't want to play with it that much. Let's get it out of here. This is Mr. Potato Head. Oh, oh well, everybody knows him from Toy Story. The original version of the toy used a real potato. Oh. It's original, if you look at the top there, that's weird, was supposed to look like. So you would get just the plastic parts. Right after World War II, you're just coming out of a time period where you were rationing food. Wasting food on a toy okay. did not work that's for people. Weird. Oh! oh. oh. Oh! Later, they changed it to a plastic head, which I think is terrifying. Oh my god. Mr. Potato Head, where's your other ear? It's over here. <laughs> what? <laughs> yes! It doesn't matter if you're 50 or 5. You need this. Is that a real potato? No, no. No, I don't like that. That's disgusting. I'm gonna have nightmares if I keep looking at that, so I'm just gonna. <laughs> That's Mr. Potato Head. Let's move on to the next one. Pogs. Oh, oh yeah. This is a pog. Like a cardboard disc. This toy actually originated in like the 1920s and 30s, and it was called Milk Caps. They brought it back in the 90s. You right. win each other's pogs, right. right? So everybody that's playing would throw their pogs into a pile. So you take your slammer and you throw it at it. Nice. They even had a place where you could play pogs at Disneyland. <gasps> the park also featured an area advertised as a slamming, scooping pog play zone. So it was just high top tables. <laughs> so what do you guys think? Would today's kids play pogs? Kids love collectible stuff. Doesn't seem like it holds up well though. Let's find out. Pog? You trade them? Dang it. I would add new designs on them. They could reinvent this into something way better. If they had like modern designs and there are cooler collectibles, maybe they'd be into it. The Poppet Pal. Pimple Pus, squeeze out the pimples. Always hated this. Oh yeah. <laughs> Does your significant other pop pimples on your body? Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes we film them. <laughs> <laughs> Allison's terrible camera woman though. So sometimes you gotta, you gotta get the kids involved. <laughs> Children! You want me to look and see if I got one? Uh, I realize that this is a bit of a polarizing toy. I love it, but I think it's gonna be real 50-50 with kids. Ew, it's sticky inside. Pop the pimple, I'm guessing. 
This is therapeutic. Except it makes your hands really, really sticky. But it's a great toy. Okay. okay. This is the electric thriller. <laughs> what? The idea was to sort of teach the public about electricity and get people comfortable with it. And so you crank this thing, hold on to the two jump rope looking handles. It'll shock everyone that's holding hands. <laughs> Give the fellas at each end the handles of the thriller. Turn the crank. Wow, but how does it shoot the old electric juice through them? How they holler and dance and laugh and prance. <laughs> I've been pranced in so long. Send no money, pay postman $2. <laughs> I want to be filled with electric juice and prance. They do similar things in high school science classes. You need someone that's grounded. <laughs> we sell a lot of shocking toys. Shock ball, shocking number, shazam, shazap. I would definitely play with that. Crank it, boom, I'll get shocked. Yeah, love it. Short to the point. Let's move on to the next toy. This is the Water Wigglies. It's the toy you could never get like a grip on. Like every time you try to squeeze it, it just, it goes. Whoa. <laughs> and there's a, a shark inside this one. Oh, it comes with all sorts of different things inside. Try to toss it up and catch it. <laughs> I can't even throw it. I think this toy is timeless. Yeah. Kids want fidget spinners and hoverboards. This is the best toy ever. What? Whoa. There's nothing needed to be improved. This one's a great toy. All right, I stand corrected. I've got one more surprise toy. Six finger. <laughs> so it looks like a finger and it can do like six things. <laughs> Let me show you the commercial and I think then you'll get it. A six, six, six. Surprise, it's six finger. finger but what? Why do you do a backflip? Fires cap loaded bombs and they explode as a ballpoint pen and signals in code. Six finger will kill your enemies. <laughs> I love six finger. I think we should bring it back. Wherever you are, I will find you. <laughs> if you're looking for toys that aren't a hundred years old and are safe for kids, check out the hundreds of curiously awesome products at vet19.com. Thanks for watching. That19.com